Yo, hi. Yeah, this video is gonna be about being emo. At 15, I was emo. I was pretty fucking emo. Very emo indeed. And I noticed that picture of me. How I used to look. I have black hair, emo ass fringe, and everything. I always wore black when I could. Always band shirts. And I'm actually wearing black right now these PJs, but yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> yeah. But it's a question. Do we actually ever grow out of our emo phrase? I say I don't think we think we do. Because I still listen to emo music. I still listen to My Chemical Romance and I'm so fucking happy they got back together in 2019. I still listen to like one like two if you consider them emos to you. I still listen to Fierce of Bell. I still listen to A Date or Memoir. I still listen to Toy on Pilots. Some people consider them emo like that. Oh, some people don't. I do. Panic and Disco and all that jazz. I still listen to all that. Some people say that we grow out of our emo phrase. Face. I don't think we do. I still listen to my emo music. I'm very proud to be listening to my emo music. I love my emo music and I still like wearing black. I may not look at it as emo as I used to, but I still have dark hair. I have a fringe. It may not be an emo fringe. Emo is headband right now, so it's got on it. It's quite emo, I would say. And yeah, I still like wearing band shirts from time to time. I don't think we do go out of our emo face. I think we're still a little emo. We're a little emo at heart. If you can still enjoy my cannibal romance and that, you're still a little emo. You're still a little emo at heart, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to wear your black eyeliner, do that. I don't wear makeup. If you want to have your emo friends, do that. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever gonna have like emo food. I still consider myself a little emo. Emo at heart, because I am. I know there was always these stereotypes a few years ago that say that emos cut and that emos are depressed. That's all stereotypes, because emos can be happy and emos can enjoy life. Yeah, there's some emos that deal with mental health problems, but that doesn't mean it goes with the their emo style. Depression is a mental illness, so is self harm. That goes with mental health and illness and stuff. But I don't do any of that. But because an emo does it doesn't mean it's because they're emo, that's because of their mental health problem. And maybe try helping them instead of like saying, It's so emo, you're listening to and you cut yourself. Don't take the piss out of that. Try to help them at least. Don't take the piss. We're all a little emo at heart. Especially if you like that chemical and like the black parade and the white welcome to the black parade. That's like the emo anthem. And that's not going to change. It's like when I was 15, if people called me emo. Back then, I would get so triggered and be like, Oh, I'm not emo. I don't know what's emo. It's like, if, even if you called like music screamo past 15, oh boy, I would have got triggered. I'd be like, it's not screamo, it's metalcore, get your facts right. I'll be like that sort of thing that like really trigger me. And nowadays, I just like joke around about it. Like, yeah, I finally accept that I'm emo and that's okay. And I love being emo. Good problem, I'll have to fuck that off. <laughs> yeah, I love being emo. I'm me. And people call me emo now. I'm like, I know. I know I am and I'm proud of me. <laughs> like, it, I don't even get triggered anymore. Is that your people call me? Like my music taste, while some of it, like old women how I listen to it, and that screamo. I just been like, yeah, screamo emo. I know that sounds kind of cringe, but like I don't get triggered over things like that anymore. And when I was fifteen, I would have. I even looked like a fucking emo. So you definitely was fifteen, old me. Like what the fuck? Maybe because I didn't want to label myself because I was watching all these videos back then. I was like, oh, don't label yourself. But like, I know not everyone likes labels, but I agree with them in some certain extent. Like. Especially with LGBT, it's just like an easy way to explain my sexuality. I, I would sometimes miss my emo fringe, not gonna lie. But that thing with a pain in the ass, it stays like that and sometimes it don't go right and it would just be annoying and it's like, oh my god. And I was really insecure about my forehead. But yeah, this is my forehead. Well, I'm still not keen on it, I prefer to have a fringe of some kind too. Because I am not a f that kind of person, I just like having a fringe of some sort. May not be an emo fringe? No, definitely not, because my fringe is too short. <laughs> when it's a bit longer, I can get it looking a little lame. I don't know, I'm just rambling on about being emo. So yeah, be proud of who you are. Whether that's your yeah, sexuality, romantic attraction, a romantic orientation, you're yeah, black or white, be proud of that. Um, I don't know, if you're emo, goth, metalhead. I'm, I'm, I'm me, but I'm a little emo, and I have my own kind of style, I guess.